All right, guys, welcome back. Good to have you back. So I'm going to edit this in so this will be edited into the video. Um, and so this is just from being out on the ride. And it's fantastic. It is an absolutely fantastic bike. I, I don't get paid to say this. This is my own bike that I've bought. You see that I have changed it out. It is an entry level. If you've not been on the channel before, entry level NCR. You can get these for about £1,500. We've got different colours now for 2024. This is the 2023 colour, which I prefer. Um, and I've changed it. It had Tiagra hydraulic disc brakes and Tiagra hydraulic root set with a wide rear. And I've changed it out for um, Microsoft CentOS, or MicroShift, sorry, Microsoft. MicroShift CentOS 11, uh, which is a bit more like Campagnolio, to be honest. Um, and then I've taken it to hydraulic disc brakes, which you can see. So from hydraulic disc brakes to cable, actuated brakes, and they are manual cable brakes there. So you can see, let me just pop the rear brake and you'll see. Uh, yeah, you'll see the movement there. And they're t uh, Spire TRPs. And the one thing, like the main complaint that I had with the bike, the brakes were fantastic. To Agra brakes are just like GRX, I thought. The, the hydraulic disc brakes were fantastic. So that's a minus now for all the changes that I've made. But the CentOS group set, not only is it two times 11, it just shifts so much nicer. I, I would just prefer it. You can shift down the block in a sweep just by pulling the lever down, it will sweep five gears downwards. And you can sweep five upwards by just pushing it in. Um, it's just a better shift. But as you can see, I've got it matched with a 105 because the gear ratio is the same the, so the pull actuation is the same so it works with all shimano group sets and that will take up to probably to a 36 on the rear i've got a 11 32 um rear cassette on there which is shimano and i'm to a 52 36 and it came with a 36 48 with um a 34 rear to an 11 34 rear cassette on two times 10 and the gaps were horrible it was just a shit combination of gear gearing which i really disliked um but this bike is absolutely phenomenal so i'm forsaking the brakes a bit i have changed other things the saddle um, which i've gone through in another video so i've changed the saddle out um i love this saddle it's basic monza none of this kit's expensive it's all sort of entry level kit um i've got an uh, carbon seat post which I changed out as well so that makes it super smooth and I've got a Dida stem on there which is just a shorter it's a 90 stem so it's, a, it's bringing me in a little bit and bringing me up you can see I've not cut the head down because it was a brand new bike I didn't cut it down it got set up very well from Decathlon the mechanics are really good they did give me a well set up bike well presented um, and all the other stuff there but it, it, it's I'm just going to show you because if you go onto my other videos you'll see I was testing on my rim brake bike which is an aero bike um, I've been testing kit uh, on there, basic kit. Now, you can see that I was testing and um, that bike, I would say, feels faster than this bike. But this is ultra smooth and you sit in the bike more. Um, this is faster. This is faster. So over the same course, the fastest speed that I got when I was testing the tyres was uh, 36. That was only going at 70, 65 to 70%. Um, same here again, I'm not killed myself t at all today. And it's rolling, well, rolling for here anyway. So 16, it's only uh, almost 17K and it's 300 meters climbing, um, but it rolls. So, so, you know, not too much at all. Obviously I'm gonna go back that way as well and I'm gonna do a longer ride on my back, but it's just to put it up against my rim brake bike, which is a semi-aero bike, harder than this, stiffer than this. Um, and this is faster. And my, I, I had reservations about the wheels. I, uh, I don't particularly like these wheels. I think they're a bit of fucking crap, to be honest. And I thought the rear um, pulls on the rear cassette was crap as well. But they're all right. And these tires, Hutchinson and the Fusion 5s, okay, it's completely dry wire am, okay? So, and it's hot, so these should be nice and grippy. But they're all right, they roll really well. But they're heavy. Now, the, the weight of this bike is about 8.9 kilos. That's without pedals. Okay, so it's 8.9 kilos with obviously all the bar tape, bottle cages, but none of this crap on, okay? So not, not my light, my breakdown kit, or my computer. So it's about, this, this bike's about a kilo heavier than my other, my rim brake bike. This bike is faster, and it feels, you feel so much smoother, and you feel so much fresher. I, 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 I think 
and it's got no aero gauge you can see standard 27.2 seat post it's, it's absolutely so smooth um, and it climbs really well really really well bottom bracket area is really nice and robust I absolutely love it I think it's fucking brilliant I think what they've done for the price I don't know how they've done it so if the RCR is anything to go by and this is its little brother and this is its entry level brother that bike will be phenomenal for, for you know coming up against other bikes you, you can get a pro bike you know that riding in the pro peloton for five and a half grand I think it's five and a half six thousand euros so it's going up against the tracks that are nine twelve you know specialized s works that are thirteen thousand euros these bikes are phenomenal i'm going to edit in to show you the quality inside the head tube because i took the head tube part the other day i'm going to edit that video in as well so this will be all edited together for you i really like this bike you know and okay i've made changes to it but nothing performance wise i it's not really brought the weight down they're just specific things that make me feel more comfortable on the bike and things that i like they're not really expensive i mean these would these are cheaper than shimano these are under quid a pair like the group set um i got for 130 pound with the front shifter and the um it only it goes up to a 30 rear the rear mech but i've changed that for a 105 that was only 35 quid um so i can run a wider cassette whilst i'm here so it's 32 on the rear but um yeah guys it, 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 it it's a phenomenal bike it's a great frame um and they're great value for money and what more can i say like i can't say anything else but i'm going to edit this back in so i'm going to leave this now anyway so I'll, re I'll see you in the rest of the video um and we'll move on to showing you how decent oh, finger there the uh, carbon layup is in the in the head tube and you'll see it's absolutely brilliant so um right cheers for getting to the end of this part and uh, i'll see you next part Okay, so I did say that I'd show you a video of the internal uh, work, and this is around the headstock, and you can see the carbon fibre in there. I mean, I've got. Let me just turn it around for you. There we go. 